Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video, I'd like to show you a little bit more about uh, our display manager and uh, some of the settings associated with that. After we do that, we're going to move on to the Photo View uh, 360 options and show you how to go through that in order to finally get to uh, a, a point where we feel that we want to get our door to look the way we, we really want to look, uh, have it look like. <laughs> and then uh, be able to create a final rendering and be able to save that as a requirement for this class. So we've already gone through appearances, we've gone through uh, decals, we talked about decals, and we're, where we're at right now is on our display manager, and right now we're going to go to view scene, lights and cameras. So there's a couple different scenes over here, if you right click on the scene on top, we can adjust uh, some of the scene settings here. We can go to lights, we can adjust some of the lights, and we're going to go to a camera. We're going to put a camera angle on that. So right now we just have a square perspective view of this. Uh, what we want to do with the cameras is have a different view with that, uh, you know, perhaps get a, a much closer perspective or a telescopic uh, perspective or a wide angle perspective, however you want to do it. The camera is what we would use to uh, adjust that. So let's go to scene. If we right click on this, go to edit scene, you notice that we have a background scene and we have an environment scene. So we're going to be able to adjust that. You don't necessarily have to uh, you know, go into each one of these environments to do that. By going to the very top of the hierarchy here, you can go to Edit Scene that way. So we're going to go to Edit Scene. And there's three different sections for the scenes here. We have Basic Scenes, and I think we talked about this with the door. And you can see all the different uh, basic, basic uh, uh, scenes here that we could use. Colored backgrounds, uh, black backgrounds, reflective backgrounds, and other things. Uh, we can use those, and then we kind of grade from there to studio scenes, where it uh, shows a little bit more in the way of detail in regard to uh, reflectivity off the floor, not necessarily more in the way of colors, but it does show some uh, reflections of perhaps elements that might be in the background that don't necessarily appear in a scene, but as you can see, like in the traffic light one, or in the grill lighting, that it does kind of show that as if, you know, there might be something in the background that might reflect off of our object may not be as appropriate for something like this which really isn't uh, you know highly reflective but it might be appropriate for some things that uh, might have a very shiny surface to it and then from there we're going to go to presentation scenes we have a kitchen background we have a courtyard background uh, some palace in Europe perhaps factory background and office space background there's not very many background settings regarding a kitchen background it'd be great because of what it does is it puts the you know the middle of the scene right on top of a chopping block table in there and if you have a like a kitchen appliance you want to show off that's a really good way to do that a door a door probably wouldn't be good to set up on a kitchen table to kind of show but uh, perhaps a courtyard background or maybe even better a factory background would, would be best for that so just for the final let's go ahead and choose that factory background and there it is factory background and that's kind of cool one thing you'll notice here that we have this uh, little circle down here what that means is it's the floor we can take the floor, we can adjust that. You notice that we have an adjustment for that uh, floor over here. So if we want the door to be quite literally resting on the floor, we want to make that zero. So we can put that in the bottom of the door. If we want to kind of highlight the door a little bit, maybe make it float off the door, off the floor, some sort of magic door or something like that, we can uh, take the floor and actually move that down. So to show you what that looks like, if we go to the rendering right now, go to Photo View 360 and go to Final Rendering, it'll render the door and the background at the same time. So it looks like the background's a little bit on a washed outside. Those are some settings we're going to change in Photo View 360 when we get there. So again, our door is uh, not well centered in our view here, so we'd want to zoom in on that before we make a final rendering of that. So anyways, that's our door. That's the scene. We could take that uh, floor and maybe make that zero so that the floor of the factory is uh, coincident with the floor of the, of the door. And what we want to do is uh, we can turn on door shadows, floor shadows, on this. So when we render this again, you actually kind of see a shadow out here, which is kind of a, a nice thing. There are some other settings in here, too, that you can uh, manipulate, including illumination and uh, various other settings that... Uh, can go with that. We're not going to go into any detail on that. And I'm going to leave that option up to you if you want to play around with that. So let's go to the green check mark here. So that's our scenes. We're going to work on the scenes. 
And I believe in the next film, because it's going to be a little bit tricky and it's going to be a little bit more time consuming, we're going to go to lights and play around with the lights and then ultimately the camera. We're going to take a camera view of the door, like maybe give it a perspective from a, a cat view or a dog's view and and take a look at the door in that respect rather than having it show the way it does show here in the screen as we, as if we were modeling it, you can get a camera view of it and get to kind of close to the door if you want to do that. So that's enough for this video. Uh, please join me for the other ones.